Hey y'all, this is Dina. Welcome to my channel. I am back with my next idea. This could be utilized as a craft fair idea if you found inexpensive movies, maybe Walmart in the inexpensive bin or something like that. Or it could mainly be used for like gift packs for like family members or friends, birthday, whatever. Um, I made this Christmas style. And this is popcorn in a movie, y'all. So as you see here, this I made a pouch for the outside or a little a little box for the outside. And it fits a pack of popcorn. And then this one fits the movie. So here you go. It all just fits right back in. Perfect. There you go. You give them a nice gift. You could wrap this in with some cellophane. You could just leave it like this if you like. Um, whatever you want. I probably would probably probably put in cellophane if I was like giving it as a gift just to kind of pretty it up but for the sake of the video I'm just going to do it like this. I've added some twine around and added myself a Christmas cut apart here. So I thought it turned out really cute. So let me quickly show you how to make this. Now I've already pre-cut my papers and the first paper that you're going to need for the movie box it measures six and a half by eleven and a half. Okay. So the first scoring line that you're going to need is you're going to need a half an inch. So let me just make sure I got it all nice and even. Half an inch and then skip on over and score it at six. Okay. Flipping on over here to this end, you're going to score at five and a half and at six. So now you're just going to fold on your score lines and that's well and I'm going to I'm just going to move this out of the way for a second and then we'll need that back again. So now the big thing is for you to decide which side do you want outside and which side do you want inside. So if you use a single sided paper this is a perfect project for that but I am using this one because I thought it was just beautiful beautiful paper. Oh and let me just tell you the paper I'm using. It's called Red White, Red and White Christmas. I got it at Tuesday morning last year. It's by DCWV. I got it for $6.99 and it's just a beautiful, beautiful paper pad. Okay, so you're folding on your score lines. We're gonna fold on these two outer score lines as well. Use your bone folder, make it all nice and crispy and straight. Y'all, I hit 18,000 subscribers a while ago. I am so super excited. I did not think that my channel would even get like that. So if you're new to subscribing to my channel, thank you so much. And if, and if you've been with me all along, thank you, thank you, thank you. Thank you for your support. I'm really excited. I'm like, oh, I was hoping to be at 20,000 by the end of the year. But hey, it might come sooner for me. That would be awesome. And 20,000 will be my next giveaway, y'all. Okay, so now that I've got my score lines all folded, this center little part right here, I'm gonna, I went ahead and I just trimmed it up to the score line, just like that, see? I'm gonna do this on the other side as well. And over here, just like this. So now, this is what you've got, just like this, two little flaps right there. Okay, so I'm just gonna use some of my art glitter glue and I'm gonna put some glue right here on the top of this tab here. So it looks like I am going to be putting the, the, the mittens on the outside. If you have just single sided, this work will work fine because it's downside in, down in there anyway, but I just want to use this paper, y'all. Okay, so I'm holding it down, make sure that gets good and adhered. Now I'm going to do this one right here. I don't want to pull that other one out, but I'm putting some glue on the tab. And I'm going to glue this one down and just hold it. Get it all nice and nicely adhered. You could use some double-sided tape if you want. I found that this worked out just fine. And all I'm going to need now to do is add glue to these sides or double-sided tape to fix it just like this. So let's get that glue on there. Okay, so I'm just gonna put it, I'm just gonna put it right down here on the outside. And I know it's kind of hard. I don't wanna bend it too much. I don't wanna tear it. So hopefully you can see what I'm doing. I've been thinking about this for like two or three days. Like how do I 
want to do this. And I thought, I'll just make a little, like a little sleeve to put the movie down in and just make a little sleeve for the popcorn. And I thought, how cute is that? I will just do that. So my husband and I got home a little bit later from work. We had an errand to run. But I sat down here and it was so simple just to use a movie box and just make my dimensions. Because I had in my head what I wanted to do. Okay, so there I go. We've got on both sides all adhered down. I'm just going to use my bone folder up in here to make sure that it's nicely pressed down. Just like this, y'all. Okay, that part is done. See, I told y'all, y'all could whip these out in no time. So fun and easy. Okay, so I'm going to grab my scoreboard again. Now, this piece of paper is going to be for the little pouch for the for the popcorn and this one actually measures uh, four and a half by six so I've got it four and a half by six and I'm gonna score on the six inch side I'm gonna score at a half an inch and at one inch jump on over to five and then five and a half so I've got it half inch one five five and a half so it's six inches and this is by four and a half so i'm going to score this one at three and a half and at four just like this y'all see okay so now we're done with that scoreboard let me find my scissors here so now before i go and fold while i can see the score lines on here see i'm just gonna at the top score line at the three and a half inch line I'm going to cut all the way up to that that inside score line. And then I'm going to cut to the next one to that inside score line. So on the bottom one, I'm just going to cut it out like this. And then on this one, I'm going to cut a tab out just like this. So it's going to end up looking like that. So let's do that with the other side. So I'm going to cut up to this line. And I'm going to cut it out just like this. And I'm going to cut to there. And then I'm going to cut all the way in. So it's kind of making like a little flap like that. See? So this is how it's going to look like, y'all. Okay, so now we're going to fold on the score lines. I'm going to use my bone folder, make it all crispy and pretty. Use the score line, crispy and pretty. Do these others. Talked to my sister a while ago, she's doing good. She's getting back in the swing of things at home. And uh, yep, I told her I told her that she needs to watch our live video again because it was so funny. Okay, so before I, I put this together, I've gone ahead and I've cut myself a fun little piece right here. Just some decorative paper. Let me see if I've got that one. I think I need to cut this one down just a tad. Okay, so. I'm going to cut this one down just a little bit and get my paper trimmer. So the inside of this box, and let me see what this is going to be like. So that's four inches across and it's three and a half in height. So I've got this at four inches. I want to cut it a little bit smaller. So maybe go down about two eighths of an inch or so, just like that. And then the three on the three and a half inch side, we're gonna go down maybe maybe a little bit, maybe two eighths of an inch on there. Just kind of make it a, a little bit smaller than the, than what goes in here. That way it kind of goes right inside there, just like that. Okay, now I'm just gonna use some glue. And since I used the mittens on the outside of this one. I'm gonna put this plaid on the inside, on the outside this time, just to make it look pretty, pretty, pretty. And I'm just gonna get this glue all adhered on. Get 
this in the center. We actually had a break in the heat today. I don't know how hot it got, but we had rain this morning. It was way nice rain. We were so proud to get it. Okay, so now it looks like this. So now I'm gonna start putting this together. So I'm gonna put some glue on the tab first. I'm gonna go ahead and put glue on both tabs so I can get these folded in. Fold your tab and then just fold this over. And hold it down. Let's get this one going too. So I'm gonna hold this down for a second. So now you still have these last two. So fold this one in first. Add a little glue right here at the bottom and the corners. So you can adhere the, the edge of these flaps nice and flush with the bottom of your little, little paper right here. Let's do this side. Just like this. Got my swap goodies mailed off to my partner today, so she should receive that in a few days. So, Miss Dawn, if you're watching, it's on its way. So there we go. That's what it's going to look like. So for this part, I used some some double-sided tape just because I wanted to make sure it adheres really well. Put some tape on all three sides and don't worry y'all I'll put all the measurements in the description box below and I almost pulled the whole thing up y'all there we go there we go okay so now we gotta leave this Kind of center it in the middle of your box. I got it a little crooked before I get it down there good. I need to make sure that I have it straight. Pretty good. I'll put it right there. I'm going to use my bone folder and kind of get this all adhered down the best that I can. Okay. And there we go. There's our little box. Okay, I just want to make sure I've got this pressed in there really good. So bear with me a sec because I want to make sure that it's all pressed down inside much better. Now it's adhered down really well. So now for this one I'm going to use my next favorite movie, Mamma Mia 1, Mamma Mia 2. Love all the Mamma Mias. And I think I got to take it out of the sleeve. Okay, so now I'm going to pop the movie down in here. Look at that. Fits perfectly. Going to pop my popcorn in here. That looks good. Let's see here, I want to make sure it's down in here really well. There we go. Fit down there perfectly. Now all I'm going to do is add some twine. And then before I go any further, i got to get this needle put back on my glue, y'all. I'm notorious for losing my needle. Okay, so I'm going to use some twine. Wrap it around a couple times. And then just wrap it. If you want to put it in cellophane, like a nice string wrap or something, go for it. And I'm just going to tie the knot here. It's 
like that. I like to make these, kind of spread them out just a little bit. These would be great gifts to give a coworker, give your friend, give family member. It would be great, just any of them. Okay, so all we're gonna need is a little tag. So let me find a little piece of scrap of white. Let me see what I got over here. myself a little piece of white and measure this out because I just want it to go right here. See how much of this tape I've got. Adhere it on. It always looks good if you layer. Grab my paper trimmer and trim this up a hole, tie it on, and my friends, we will be done. Okay, let's go. That looks pretty good. And there we go. Got that one ready. Let's move this out of the way. I'm going to use my hole puncher here. I'm using the 3 8 inch hole punch. It's right here on my crop dial. I'm going to go this way so I can see what I'm doing. I'm gonna put it in the center here. Oh, that looks pretty good. Then I'm just gonna take this and I'm gonna tie it on. That way it's, I got a nice greeting. You can, if you did this for a birthday, you could do happy birthday. You could do so much with this, y'all. Okay. I'm going to cut it a little shorter to make a longer bow like I did the other one, but this is going to work actually perfectly fine. And let me pull this out. And there we go, y'all. How sweet is that? Now I have two movie packs. Popcorn and a movie, y'all. That's what we have here. Look how nice it looks. It looks good. And all they got to do is pull it out. They can see what movie it is. You've got their little treat. Perfect, y'all. Perfect. If you want to put these in a cellophane bag, you could pair it with a like maybe a, a bottle of soda or something like that. It would be perfect. It would be a perfect movie night with the family or friends or just give us a gift. Just perfect. Or if you're doing a white elephant gift at work or something like that. I know at my work we do things like that and my for my line of business where I work and it would be a perfect gift. Popcorn and a movie and a drink. It'd be a movie night. Anyway, hope you guys have enjoyed this easy quick project. Remember I'll put all the dimensions in the description box below and y'all I'll see you guys soon. Bye.